Since this service was recorded, uh, we've lost Adele. Uh, our sympathies go uh, to the Glen, the whole Glen family. Um, she will be terribly missed. She was a bright, shining star, um, always smiling, even to the end. Uh, our sympathies go to all of you, and as a church, we will be praying for you. In our prayers today, we're going to be praying for Cossie Baptist Church. I know that when you see the thing up the side, it doesn't look it's spelled that way, but it happens that way with a lot of um, places in Norfolk. Um, Cossie's on the, on the edge of Norwich. Um, the Baptist Church has been there since 1798, so a little bit of a while. And the church obviously has stopped all its normal activities um, because of coronavirus. But it's pastor Peter, Peter Lollystone is trying still uh, to meet the needs of the community and to work with those who are in need. They give thanks for the fact that two new deacons were elected just before the shutdown came and are able to help in the work that carries on. Um, pray for them as they prepare for the reopening of the church. Uh, give them wisdom, they ask. And they ask that the church would be a good witness in their community. Uh, but one of the other things I'm going to mention today is that um, we've had some really good news about the persecuted church. Sudan has scrapped the death penalty for leaving Islam. Uh, things are still hard for Christians there in Sudan. Um, but we need to give thanks to God for his goodness. Let's pray. Father, thank you for your goodness to your people across the world, those who are finding life tough and those who are at ease. Father, we pray that you would help um, us to remember your church across the world, that in our present difficulties we might remember those who were in difficulty before. But we thank you for what has happened in Sudan. We thank you for the change of government. We thank you for the change of heart. And we pray that Lord, that as that death penalty is now not being enforced, that uh, other laws and other attitudes would also change. Father, we pray that you would help them, uh, your people in Sudan, to know your grace and your goodness and give them a boldness, Lord, we pray, to share your love and your kindness with those around them. And much closer to home, we pray, to home, we pray for uh, those in Kossi Baptist Church, uh, thank you, Lord, for the witness that the people of that church have been through the generations. And we pray that it may continue. Help them to know in this new situation what it is that you want them to do. Bind them together as leaders, Lord, um, and as people. And as they make decisions, we pray that you'd help them not only to make the right ones, but to know that they are. Father, we pray for ourselves. Uh, we pray, Lord, for, particularly for those who are part of us who are lonely, finding life tough, not able to get support, not able to um, get comfort from a cheery smile and a conversation and a hug. Father, we pray that uh, they might be aware of your presence with them, that of your love, um, just being there for them still. Uh, Lord, give them supernatural, spiritual um, senses to see what you are doing and who you still are in the middle of this pandemic. And we pray to you, Lord, for those who are ill. Thank you for some good news about some. And we pray that by your strength and by in your goodness, you would continue to, to heal and to change the lives of those who cry out to you. Father, we pray for our world, a world still in trouble, a world still where things are going wrong, not just the virus, but many other things. And we ask, Lord, for wisdom for your people across this world, that those individuals, those ordinary, everyday people who love you would be able to make a difference. From Shubriness to the ends of the earth, Lord, we pray that your name might be honored and glorified. But Lord, that you would give us both the wisdom, the courage, and the compassion to be your people um, in whatever situation we find ourselves. Lord, we can't do many of the things that once we could do, 
but we can still be your people. Help us, Lord, we pray, to be your people and to show your love and your care to those around us. And we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.